Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all well. Today's video is another do's and don'ts, let's call it another lessons with Lydia, um, on how to wear cropped jackets, as I'm demonstrating here. Um, crop jackets are a huge thing at the moment. Jackets, cardigans, crop blazers, they are everywhere, especially this kind of boucle, very ladylike style. And this really is a, a timeless piece. This is something that your grandma could probably wear um, and that your maybe grandma wore years and years ago, but also something that I think looks really cool. So that said, with it being such a timeless kind of classic style, I think there are certain ways to make it look more modern um, and more up to date rather than the way maybe your grandma would have worn it. So I think it's important to do those small tweaks in order to modernize um, such a traditional, beautiful, classic jacket. So um, it's do's and don'ts as usual. We're gonna be talking about personally the ways I wouldn't style it. Obviously it's not gospel. If you want to style it in that way, um, by all means go ahead. That is the point of fashion. But my videos are really just there for when you're a little bit confused, a little bit lost, not sure where to start, but maybe want to incorporate some of these pieces into your wardrobe, but no idea where to go. Um, if you've got your own opinions on what to style with, then that's amazing. But some people might need um, a few prompts and things to help guide them in their own wardrobes, because these videos really are all about trying to implement the tips yourself and have something to take away from the video. Um, so that's what I hope you gain from today. So let's get into the first outfit. So what I'm going to do is go through different categories of clothes. And the first look, and my first don't, is a mini skirt with this kind of jacket. This particular one is Marcella London. I'm going to be showing you some variations throughout the video as well, and um, some slightly different styles. But I think pretty much the same rules apply to all of the jackets that I'm gonna show you. So I personally would avoid a mini skirt, um, especially worn with something like tights and flats like this. I just feel like it looks a little bit frumpy. Um, it's not so flattering, I don't think. It all feels a little bit too tight, a little bit twee and one style. Like It feels a little bit girly as well, like quite young, I would say, to have like a cute little skirt, a little jacket. It doesn't feel that cool or grown up. So I would avoid that all tighter look together and we need to think about proportions with this one to make it feel more modern. So on the flip side, what I would do instead is pair the jacket with a maxi skirt. Now these are really in at the moment. I've just done a reel on my Instagram, do's and don'ts of longer skirts, because again, they can be tricky to style and to navigate, so hopefully that will help you on there. I'll leave um, my Instagram below, I always do. It's just at Lydia Jane Tomlinson. If you don't follow me in there, but follow me on here, then there's a lot more of what I do on here um, over on there, but in shorter format. So as I said, let's talk about proportions. So I'm going for this longer skirt, um, which just gives a bit of contrast to this boxier cropped jacket. I think a long satin midi would look really nice. In my case, I've gone for this one from Pixie Market, which is more of a maxi style. I paired it with my boots from Naked Fashion. I do think you could probably go for a few different styles of boots. I think I would avoid a really chunky boot with this look because I think it would feel a little bit too bottom heavy against the skirt and the crop jacket. But I think a slimmer fitting boot would look great with this. If you didn't want to wear tights, I think um, trainers would look nice with this. Not too much of a chunky trainer, more of an elegant kind of trainer um, would look really great with this too. But I definitely think a longer skirt with a boxier jacket is a, the way to go if you're wanting to make it feel a little bit more fresh. So my next category is jeans. So how do you style your crop jackets with jeans. So in this case, I've gone for this new in, um, it's kind of like more of a cardigan than a jacket. But again, this is a style um, that's very in at the moment. It's a boucle cardigan from Massimo Dutti. Um, and this one is in black with the gold buttons. I just love it. I think it looks so chic. Again, it's pretty timeless. It's very timeless. It's very Chanel-esque obviously not Chanel Pricer, but um, it's that kind of elegant, boxy, boucle, Chanel vibe. Um, but again, let's think about how we can make this modern. So very much like the tighter, shorter skirt, I would avoid the skinny jeans with this. I've done a whole video on what to wear with skinny jeans recently. So go and check that out if you like your skinnies and want to know how to wear them. But I would 
Really, really, really recommend avoiding your skinnies with anything cropped and boxy like this. I think, again, feels all too tight. I like to have a bit of oversized with my skinny jeans to balance it out a little bit. Again, it feels all too much one style, all a little bit sucked in, um, and I just think, all in all, a little bit dated as well. So on the flip side, I think there are multiple other pairs of jeans that you can wear with your cropped jackets. Um, just, I think, to be honest, anything but a skinny. So I'm showing you here um, the same jacket styled with a straight leg pair of jeans. These ones are from River Island, just in a gray, but these are more of a kind of straight mom style, I think. Anything like this would be great. Anything a little bit looser legged. Maybe a barrel leg also would really work because the jacket is relatively fitted. Um, so anything slightly looser. You can go for cropped if you want to. Or as I'm showing you my other style, these looser wider leg jeans. They're like a long slouchy jean from Hush. I swear by these as you probably already know. These are really versatile and also I think just look great as a contrast to that more kind of polished jacket, you've got the kind of slouchier masculine jean. Um, and I really like um, to kind of juxtapose the pieces like that. And these are a bit slouchy, but I think you could also go for a much wider leg as well. Um, that would feel more modern. So anything with a bit of a looser spin on it, I think is a great way to go with your jeans. So we've kind of touched on shapes of jeans. I think trousers are very much in the same category. All I would avoid is anything really, really skinny legged. Um, I personally would always go for a looser leg trouser. I just wanted to demonstrate here, I'm wearing my straight leg leather trousers from my collection with Naked in this um, cutaway with this gray crop jacket. Just wanted to show a little bit more variation of how you can style some inspiration, outfit inspiration as well. But like I say, a straighter leg, nothing too clingy, works really nicely with a crop jacket. And then equally, as we had the slouchy jeans, here I've got these wider leg gray trousers on with the same jacket, just demonstrating the variations of trousers that you can pair with this. I just really would avoid anything like a legging or skinny jean or trouser, but these wide gray legs, I think, complement this boxier crop jacket really nicely. I also think in terms of waist, um, I think it's quite nice to have a high waist, depending on where your jacket sits and falls really, but something like this, I think you can get away with a slouchier, lower waist, if you have it around the length that the jacket falls, or you can get away um, with a high waist too. I think that that works just as well. So I think really in terms of waistline, you can kind of do what you want for trousers and skirts. So let's move on to tops and some do's and don'ts of tops, what I would do and what I wouldn't, what I would avoid. So I'm just kind of going with the same outfit here with this t-shirt and I think this applies to everything, not just a t-shirt. But I personally wouldn't have your top tucked out with a crop jacket. I think really your top, I'm sure there's some exceptions where it looks amazing, but if we're just talking about these fundamentals and springboards, I think um, having your top tucked in is probably the best way to go about styling it. So you can see here, I've got the top untucked, quite loose. It just feels off. And lines of the outfit all feel all over the place. It also shortens your legs a little bit because you've got one line here, another line here, and then you've got the um, line of the trouser end as well. So you've got quite a lot of breakage in the outfit. If you took something in, you're kind of pulling this all the way up, right up until the crop point of the jacket. So if you are looking to kind of extend your legs or shorten your torso a little bit, I think a crop jacket is a good way to go because it has that shortening effect. And then with your top tucked in, it has a lengthening effect on your legs. So let's move on to knitwear. So I've gone for a different style of jacket, but again, like I say, I think everything applies here um, to all the jackets. So this is a cropped blazer from Marsala London. I will try and link everything below, as well as lots of alternatives, um, different options for you. But what I've done here is go for this big, chunky, oversized knit from Arquette, and I think it's way too much. As I said, untucked, I think. You can see again, it demonstrates um, why I don't think it works. It's just too much. And I think it makes the fabric of whatever's untucked kind of fall in a weird way because the, the jacket's pushing down on it, if that makes sense. So I'd avoid that big oversized look, but anything I think too chunky as well 
even if you tucked it in, I think looks a little bit too much to have a really chunky knit underneath. It can feel a little bit restricted looking. And also I just think it looks too top heavy and boxy at the top. So it's nice instead to balance that out with something slimmer fitting underneath. So what I've gone for in terms of knitwear is this roll neck. This is from Francis Stories and I've just tucked it in. It's not a thin knit by any means. It will still keep me nice and warm. You could even layer a very fine top underneath as well, but it still keeps me nice and warm, but it's just not got all that bulk of the other knit and it just lets the jacket do the talking then. So finally, I wanted to touch on shirts and blouses, but I think the same rules kind of apply for all styles of tops. So I've just gone for this very oversized shirt from Marquette with another cropped blazer from Marsala. No, it's not a blazer, it's, it's a cropped jacket. But it's a bit more of a kind of loose, not as constructed one as this. Um, and I've gone for this oversized shirt, but I think this shirt is a little bit too much um, with the blazer, especially tucked out. But I think even tucked in, I think the shirt, I don't know, I think maybe it's because the shirt's quite stiff and the jacket is quite boxy, it kind of is too much of the same thing. But I think, I don't think it doesn't work tucked in, and I definitely think you can wear shirts with your crop jackets. I just think there are other things. So for example, what I've done instead is put this ruffled blouse on, tucked in, and I think the ruffles of the blouse and the femininity just tone in better with the um, kind of style of the look. Sometimes it's hard to explain these points, but hopefully visualizing it in front of you, you'll be able to see what I mean by um, the kind of femininity of the ruffle um, rather than that stiffer collar. I think that just works really nicely. But that's not to say I don't think shirts go. Um, I would personally just keep them tucked in where possible and not too oversized. So I really hope that's been useful for you. I'm so excited to get wearing my crop jackets. They're going to be everywhere going forward. I feel like they're not going anywhere. And like I said, they are actually quite a time, well, they are a timeless piece. And I think we're seeing more and more these timeless wardrobe classics having moments in the spotlight and they're not necessarily trends. I would say they're more micro trends. They're pieces that we always can have in our wardrobes and that we can always use, but maybe they're just having a little bit more of a spotlight at the time. And I think that's what we're seeing with these jackets. Um, so I'm really excited to wear them going forward. For winter, you can put a coat over the top and they make a really nice outfit. If you're going out, take your coat off and you've got your jacket underneath and it gives you that extra warmth as well. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, thumbs up. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Let me know what other do's and don'ts, lessons with Lydia, any tips and tricks you want to know in the comments below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.